Hello there. My name is Shafi. I am currently doing my master's in physics. Today, we'll learn about the nucleus, and hopefully by the end of the video, you'll understand what a nucleus is, its constituents, how to specify a nucleus, the various characteristics, and measuring the size of the nucleus. So now, let's begin with the video. In an atom, the electrons orbit around the nucleus, which is the central core of the atom, which contains all of the atom's positive charge and most of its mass. It is one of the most complex entities found in nature, and being very small in size, it cannot be seen even with the powerful microscope invented so far. Fortunately, a nucleus emits its own type of radiation when excited, and a careful study of these radiations provides the necessary information regarding the nucleus. Now let us focus on the various characteristics of the atomic nucleus. The nucleus has its own structure and consists of protons and neutrons. The protons are the positively charged particles inside the nucleus, having a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and a mass of 1.6726 times 10 to the power minus 27 kg. But since they are so small, they are actually calculated in atomic mass unit, which is 1.007825 atomic mass unit. Whereas the neutrons are the neutrally charged particles, they have no charge, and they have a mass of 1.6750 times 10 to the power minus 7 kg, or 1.008665 atomic mass unit. And these constituents of the nucleus, that is the protons and neutrons, they are called nucleons. A nucleus is characterized by its atomic number and atomic mass number, or simply mass number. The atomic number of a nucleus is the number of protons present inside the nucleus and represented by the symbol capital Z. In a neutral atom, the number of electrons orbiting the nucleus is equal to the atomic number Z. And mass number is the total number of nucleons represented by the symbol capital A. So a nucleus with 7 protons and 8 neutrons thus has Z equals 7 and A equals 15. And clearly, neutron number N equals A minus Z. Now to specify a given nucleus, we need to give only A and Z, which takes the following form. Here, X is any chemical symbol of an element. Now, for example, for nitrogen with atomic number 7 and mass number 15, it means that nitrogen contains 7 protons and 8 neutrons for a total of 15 nucleons. Now, let's take a look at what isotopes, isobars, and isotones are. First, let's see what isotopes are. The nuclei that have the same number of protons a different number of neutrons they are called isotopes for example carbon have isotopes carbon 11 c12 c30 c40 c15 and c16 here carbon have the same number of protons but it has different number of neutrons that is 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 respectively and isotopes of the same element have the same chemical properties since they have the same number and arrangement of electrons, because electrons take part in chemical reactions. However, isotopes may not have the same nuclear and physical properties. Isobars, the atoms of different elements which have the same mass number but differ in the atomic number are called isobars. That is, the nuclei of isobars have different number of protons and different number of neutrons. For example, we take sodium and magnesium, they are isobars. We see that they have the same mass number but differ in atomic number. Clearly, sodium contains 11 protons and 12 neutrons, while magnesium contains 12 protons and 11 neutrons in the nucleus. Isotones, the different nuclei called nucleides, which contain the same number of neutrons are called isotones. For example, phosphorus and sulfur are the isotones because the nucleides of both these two elements contain the same number of neutrons, that is 16. Now, how do we calculate the size of the nucleus? Well, the nucleus is believed to be very nearly spherical. 
Therefore, its size is usually given in terms of radius. The radius of the nucleus was measured by Rutherford in his famous alpha particle scanner experiments, and it has been found that the radius r of the nucleus is given by r equals r0 a to the power 1 by 3, where r0 is a constant which is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the power minus 15 meters, and a is the mass number. Now, if v is the volume of the nucleus, then we get by replacing r with r0 a to the power 1 by 3, we get v equals 4 by 3 by r0 a 1 by 3 whole in q. And putting the value of r0, we get v equals 4 by 3 by 1.2 times 10 to the power minus 15 whole in q times a. And therefore, we see that the volume of the nucleus is directly proportional to the mass number. But it is a usual practice to express the nuclear radius in a unit called Fermi after the famous physicist Enrico Fermi where 1 Fermi is equal to 10 to the power minus 15 meters. Now that's it for this video. I hope you find it useful. Goodbye and have a good day.